Hi everybody. Okay, in the last video you saw me attach some aft deck attachments. Uh, the ba basically the pen guides for the bottom of the canopy. The canopy has a couple of pins, which after you attach them to the canopy, taking it off and resting it now somewhere makes it very awkward because it basically will teeter and totter around, and that's just great. That's 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 what you really want. So what I've got to do after you fit it in is, even though you fit it the way Vans tells you to, it's going to give some resistance. So you just saw me had a file in hand and just have to do a little bit of tweaking to the, to the pen guides. And here I am tweaking the uh, canopy open latch, right? So where one of the pens comes through, you've got a micro switch and a couple of wires that snake down the bottom of the canopy between it and the canopy frame. We talked about that years ago. That was a... Oof, I'm so glad I put those in and didn't try to guide them through. That would have driven me crazy. So those all work and those were happy. As soon as you latch that thing shut, I've got the canopy open. The G3X has a beautiful uh, discrete mode just for that specifically. Now, be careful because once you set it, it basically gets locked in place. I don't know why, but once you set it as the canopy latch, I haven't been able to change it. So, just be careful. Alright, so now that that's done, I am prematurely just taking off all the plastic and giving the canopy a good wipe down. Which is advisable. Having that uh, vinyl on there for a long time captures a lot of schmutz if it's wrinkled and you got to do a lot of work. Uh, I would recommend only soapy water and lint-free cloths. It's the only thing that you can trust on plastic. Uh, boy, isn't she beautiful? Well, I mean, you, you can't tell because the lighting is crap. So, but yeah. Looking good. Looking so good, you can see behind me. Uh, some people have asked, are you going to keep it polished, or are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to paint it? What are you going to do? And I'm like, polish? Are you out of your mind? Absolutely not. I'm be vinyl all over this, which uh, we'll get into later. Not in this video, but you'll see. Uh, Alright, so we're doing some um, low-hanging fruit work. This is one of those things that I've been saving for a while, because I knew it was just going to be easy. And we're putting on the oil door. And before you wonder, like, oh, I wonder what Kilroy's going to futz with now to make this... Uh, no, no, no. We're just doing the plain oil door. Plain door, plain fasteners. So the regular oil door design has two quarter-turn cam locks, or Zeus fasteners. There you can see with the big, uh, with the big finger-friendly knobs at the top. And when you turn them 90 degrees, they lock in place, and they are also... Uh, angled so that it is slipstream and doesn't become any kind of weirdo drag. It's just it's just the easy way. These things are a pain. All right, it's Friday, Oshkosh. Hope everyone that's still there is having a blast. Uh, oh God, I'm jealous. It. Oh, I just wanted to see the RV15. It looks so pretty. All right, in the next video we're just going to keep rolling. I think it's more. Uh, let me look. Oh yeah, it's the weight and balance. What's the initial weight and balance? Alright, thank you for joining me everyone. See you soon.